Andy here from Andy's Astro. Hope you're all staying safe and uh, dealing with uh, life under lockdown as best you can. Thought I'd take a moment to uh, show you some new toys that I've acquired in the uh, astrophotography uh, world here. And we might start by showing you this beautiful big new Takahashi telescope that we've recently acquired. So this thing it's called a Takahashi TOA-130, TOA being Takahashi Orthogonal Apochromatic, which simply means it's really good. So it's got a 130mm objective across the front, about 5 inches in imperial terms. Um, and this has got a three element design, so it's got a piece of uh, ED glass, and then behind that there's a piece of FPL 53 low dispersion glass and then another piece of ED glass behind that. And what that's going to basically produce is very fine results. In fact, there's something called a Strail ratio, which is how they sort of quantify these things. And uh, the Strail ratio on this one is 0.992, so it's very impressive. What that basically translates to is you're going to have very even colours across the spectrum right throughout. No, dis no distortion and in photographic terms we're going to get really pin sharp stars which is what tacks are really known for uh tack sharp stars <laughs> sorry i won't use that again all right um i've had three telescopes now i've been in this game about seven years and i started with a saxon introduction introductory telescope very nice did a good job then traded up to uh, William Optics, which is sort of stepping up from like a, oh, let's put it in camera terms, maybe stepping up from a Tamron lens to a Canon or a Nikon ED lens. So the William Optics uh, did a really nice job, uh, won a bunch of awards with it, great telescope. But then this is a quantum leap up again, and if we're still talking in camera terms, this is like up to a Leica or Hasselblad of lenses. It's fabulous. So this beast is... Uh, almost two telescopes in one because it's a thousand mil in its basic configuration and it's uh, at f7.7 but when I uh, when I say it's two telescopes in one it comes with this reducer here now the reducer means that we can actually first of all reduce the foc focal ratio down from a thousand millimeters to around 750 uh, we can also make it faster. So instead of being f7.7, we put on this baby, and it uh, it brings it down f6, f5.3, depending on how many spaces you introduce into the uh, optical train. But as it is set up currently, uh, we've got a, uh, a field flattener on it here. And that's this thing on the back here. Now the flattener on this one is a 6.7 flattener. They call it 6.7 because it was designed for a 6x7 Pentax film camera. So those things had a, a negative as, almost as big as your phone. So a 90 mm uh, image circle is what this thing can produce with a flat field. Pretty darn cool. Got the feather touch focuser in between. Uh, Takahashi make great uh, telescopes and, uh, and focuses, but the astrophotography you really want the very best focuser you can get that's going to keep everything flat without flexure no bending or distortion because when you've got large format cameras any amount of flexure will create uh, distorted stars in the corners and you don't want that of course so this is a feather touch focuser made in america state of the art absolutely fabulous and it um, it comes with a little focus motor built into it uh, here which gives you enormous amount of control uh, and I'm getting the software together now to actually let this thing now autofocus itself um, throughout the night. That's a conversation for another day though. Uh, also here we've got a, um, a dew heater sitting on top. Now the dew heater is then connected to the dew strap and look we, we're in Melbourne, population 5 million. Um, we get light pollution and we get dew. So we get very changeable weather here. So the strap creates some heat and it keeps the objective clear because uh, we don't want this beautiful thing fogging up on us. Uh, next thing along on the imaging train uh, is the guide scope. This is a Lodestar X2 from Starlight Instruments.
highly sensitive. Uh, its job is to send, uh, well basically light travels down here, hits a little pickoff prism, hits a video camera which then sends a little signal down into the mount which uh, locks it in to within a pixel uh, on our target on any given night. Behind that, the, uh, the engine room here. This is the new QSI 6162. Beautiful APS-H format camera, so large format. I was very lucky enough to win this in a competition from QSI. Thank you, QSI. Um, and so it's got six micron pixels and it's such a clean, beautiful chip that really does you know, pump out the goods. And it's got an eight position filter wheel built in. And I've filled that now with something called chroma filters. Chroma filters are made in America. They're a really lovely, very well priced, super high quality filter. And I'm shooting, as I mentioned earlier, in Melbourne, Australia. So I got it, I'm in an orange zone or red zone. We got to deal with light pollution and it's not easy. So the narrowband filters here enable me to filter out the light pollution, the street lights, the moon, the whole darn thing. And uh, I've got a three nanometer uh, oxygen filter in here, as well as the five nanometer hydrogen and sulfur filters, as well as my RGBs. So that's all sitting on this uh, equatorial mount. So we can then swing this thing all over the sky. And this mount is also made by Takahashi, but uh, I kind of pimped it a bit because Takahashi's factory brand colour is this lovely baby bathtub green. <laughs> Didn't do a lot for me, so I uh, thought maybe we can look at a way of changing this. So what mount second hand? Uh, it's, gosh, 11 years old, I think, this mount. It tracks within an arc second. It does a fantastic job. But a good mate of mine uh, listened to my request and he pulled it apart, stripped it down. I then took all the bits and got them powder coated in uh, silver and gold as a tribute to Apollo 11. And I think it looks pretty slick now. So it's also way, 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 way better performing than it, it, even its specifications say. Uh, it conservatively is rated at I think 60 or 70 kilos. It'll take, I believe, up to 100 and it really does perform. These things are super quality. And of course, this telescope itself is not light. This thing's best part of 11 kilos just in the OTA, and then you've got the focuser and the camera, and suddenly we're humping about 20 kilos around. So, you know, makes me fit when I'm carrying it out here, I tell you that. Anyway, um, up the front, we've got a poloscope, a pole master. Now that replaces the poloscope uh, with an electronic viewfinder that uh, its job is to help us find the Southern Celestial Pole. Now, unlike in the Northern Hemisphere where there's a star called Polaris, which is ideally located uh, right near the Northern Celestial Pole, here in the Southern Hemisphere, we have a very tiny asterism called Octans. And Octans is, look, you can barely see it. I think it's like Mag 11 or something like that. So this magnifies that uh, electronically, sends a signal down to the, uh, to the PC or the laptop and with a little clever piece of software, it quickly allows us to align the mount with the Southern Celestial Pole in minutes. Uh, fantastic little time-saving device. So I think that's all the bits and pieces that we're currently using to produce new pictures. Uh, I've had a first light image with this. It's something called the Fighting Dragons of Ara, NGC 6188. My favorite nebula of all time. I've shot it many times, but I've never shot it as sharp and as clear and as frankly as, uh, as well as I have with this gear. So I'll post a link to this in the comments. You can have a bit of a look and see exactly what all of this nice stuff can produce. And uh, well, I used, to, my wife used to nag me a bit about the hobby and you know, she says it's an expensive hobby, honey. And I said, well, it's cheaper than a boat. Now I guess it's getting on to being a much nicer boat. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you with that. Stay safe, everyone. Clear skies. Zandy signing off. Take it easy.